Hello YouTube, StatJunta75 here, and I would like to welcome you to a very new segment that I'm starting. This is going to be StatJunta75's Volume 1 First Edition of a new segment that I'm going to do called Bags and Boards. Statue Hunters Bags and Boards. So this is Statue Hunters Bags and Boards Volume 1. Today is December... What day is today? Jesus, it's December 14th, 2018. And this is Statue Hunter 75's Bags and Boards Volume 1. So uh, first I went to one local comic shop and I picked up a nice copy of Bloodshot Number 1 from Valiant. I think um, RAI or Rao number zero is the first appearance of this character. Um, so that technically isn't this, but this book is worth some money and I got it for a great price. So I was happy to acquire that in the collection. This might look familiar, but it's a modern take on the demon in a bottle cover that I recently acquired. I saw this and I was like at the same cool comic local comic shop right down the street from my house and I was like whoa this is awesome it's a modern uh, homage to that demon in a bottle cover um, and it is it's Deadpool number seven <laughs> and it's freaking hilarious you see Tony Stack with a scruffle five o'clock shadow and the bottle of whiskey and Iron Man helmet and instead of seeing his own sweaty reflection in the mirror he sees Deadpool and it looks like he's sipping it almost looks like Lady and the Tramp spaghetti out of this uh, frap or whatever but it's not I believe that's just a curled sippy straw <laughs> he's sipping, he's giving a thumbs up it's pretty funny I just had to get that in the collection and then we have um, they had a uh, Older copy of Daredevil 164 it was a just a price I couldn't pass up. It was two bucks. Um, it's the origin story of Daredevil retold in this in this issue, so it's not really super key. I thought almost thought it was the death of uh, um, Jack Murdoch, uh, Matt Murdoch's father, but uh, Daredevil's father. But it wasn't. Well, I mean, it looks like it is, but it's actually the origin story retold. Um, this was just a great cover with the Kingpin. Like crushing Deadpool, uh, Dead, Deadpool, Daredevil in his hand. It's an iconic cover and it's issue number 170 and it was just ridiculously cheap, so I had to pick it up. So, um, this was just basically an old Conan. I think it's Sal Bushima's first uh, work on Conan um, and it's Conan 25. Uh, Conan 24, of course, was the first appearance of Red Sonja. I was kind of hoping this was like our second appearance, but I don't think it is. But it's still a cool cover. It was three bucks. I mean, it's beat to crap, but it it's an old Conan comic. And, uh, yeah, couldn't pass up for the price. <clears throat> this um, is another key that was a really good price. Um, and it's basically the first appearance of Madam Web. And it's in pretty sharp condition. So, nice key to pick up for the Spider-Man collection. The Amazing Spider-Man number 210. So I was happy to acquire this in my collection. Another cool uh, issue uh, was Amazing Spider-Man 126. Older Spider-Man issue. I think it's the second appearance of Kangaroo or whatever. Um, and it was just a really good price. So uh, adding to my Spidey collection. And this is a key speculation issue. Um, it was just uh, a speculation from um, a website that I read read up on about um hot keys to pick up so uh ultimate's number one it was just if the marvel universe ever has this team appearance it's they're speculating that this would be it in the future and it's a good one to pick up so i got it like pff, less than cover price because it was in their back bin um and they had another issue it's the same issue but it's thicker it's called timely comics it's still the ultimate's number one it is much thicker and has more to it so it's not a second print. They're both, um, they're both, maybe someone can leave in the comments if they know, but they're both first prints. One's $3.99, the thicker one, obviously. No, actually, the original is $3.99, and this thicker one is $3, so I don't know. Uh, it's not a second print. I don't know. It says Timely Comics. Maybe it's the 
Timely Comics Special Edition. I was like, they had three of them at less than cover price, so of course I picked them up. Um, and this is uh, a nice Spider-Man key. This is the first appearance of Hydro Man. Um, so if he is a, a villain in an upcoming Spider-Man movie, this will be a good key to have. So there you have it. First appearance of Hydro Man, really sharp copy. Uh, got it for less than 10 bucks, so uh, could not complain. Very happy to acquire this. Um, and then I just love this cover. This is from my childhood when I was really reading Spider-Man a lot. Uh, I met Todd McFarlane. Actually had him. I have a signed, a signed copy of this in really nice condition, signed by him. But unfortunately, back then they didn't do authentication. CGC didn't witness signatures and stuff like that because it was back in like '91 or whatever when I had uh, Todd McFarlane sign it and met him. So uh, I just wanted to acquire a good copy. I hope it gets like a nine six or a nine eight. That'd be really nice. Because uh, I just love the cover. I love this cover, this McFarlane cover. I just love it. And I actually have the statue replication of this actual image. So um, I was really happy to acquire this. So that that's it. Um, and then uh, later in the day, I went um, to Comically Speaking um, to... I had a, worked out a great deal for a good trade, fair trade with um, Patrick, the owner. Pat is a good friend of mine, and he is always uh, fair with me um, whenever selling to me or trading with me. So I uh, could not complain. We worked out a good deal. I gave him a, a few statues for some key books and some store credit and some cash he gave me. So uh, I just made a pretty fair deal in my, my opinion. So I ended up picking up this really cool... Um, it's, it's not super valuable, but it's a beautiful... Art germ variant. Uh, I love the black cat and I love Stanley Art germ Lau's art. Uh, so it was just a beautiful cover uh, of the black cat. And there you see Art germs. There you see that it's Art germ. And it's the 25, number 25 variant edition. So I was also very happy to acquire that. Uh, another hot key. This thing is definitely a beautiful, perfect 9 8 of. Um, I can't see anything wrong with it. Of uh, Spider-Man Noir number one. Very. This is my second copy, so very happy to have that. I will be getting that CG seed. Um, I, uh, it's heavily speculated that or um, that he will be wearing a stealth suit that pretty much is the Noir suit um, in the upcoming Spider-Man movie, uh, in in maybe a few scenes or something. So that book hopefully will just go up in value. I hope. Um, I know this book is definitely hot, and this is going to go up in value. Um, Edge of Spider-Verse number two. It's the first appearance of Gwen Stacy. One of my daughter's favorite characters, and um, I love that new Spider-Man movie coming out into the Spider-Verse. So I can't wait to see it with my daughter. And uh, I just feel like uh, this book is just a great book to acquire. It's my third copy. Uh, I have two copies that are a little bit more beat up than this one. This one looks really nice. I hope with the with the press, it'll. I mean, it's not even that bad, but I just want to be extra careful. I would love for it to get a nine eight. Um, I would love to have a nine eight copy of this. Right now, I have a nine six copy of it. Actually, I'm sorry. This will be my fourth copy. I have um, three raw copies. I think two kind of beat up, uh, and then this one, and then the ninth graded nine six. So, um, I'm just on that quest for a 9-8. So, here is, um, Spawn number 9, which is the first appearance of Angela. Now that she has a Marvel character, this is in really nice shape. Hopefully it gets a 9-8. Nice McFarlane cover art. And the first appearance ever of, of Angela. Now, even though that she's a Marvel character, this is her official first appearance in Image Comics Spawn number 9. So, um, I'm really hoping, <sighs> sorry, it's a little late, I'm really hoping that, um, she ends up in an Avengers movie or something, that would be fantastic, because that'll just <whistles> skyrocket, and the final book here on, uh, Bags and Boards, on this episode of Bags and Boards, Statue Hunters Bags and Boards, is just a really beautiful McFarlane cover, I like the character Hydra Man, gotta stay hydrated, 
Um, I think he, I think he's cool. I love Venom, so this was during the Venom time. It's uh, ASM three fifteen, right before the other copy that I just showed you, three sixteen. Um, it's great McFarlane artwork. Love it, and uh, actually have a really cool Bowen statue. One of the few Bowen but uh, statues. It's a bust actually of Hydro Man. One of the few that I've still held on to, and I, I don't plan on ever selling because I love it. And uh, I'm gonna let you know the insider uh, uh, insider information. That guy might be might be a bad guy in the upcoming Spider-Man movie. There you go. Hear it here first. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, no, but that's uh, some serious speculation. So, we'll see. Um, it'll be nice if it is, because that's why I picked up his first appearance and uh, that nice McFarlane cover. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this first ever episode titled Statue Hunters Bags and Boards Volume 1 on this wonderful December 14th, 2018. Thanks for watching, guys. Give a big thumbs up and, uh, you know, please smash that like button and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Love to have you watching my videos. I put them out for you guys. Enjoy your evening. Happy holidays. Thanks for watching.